Today, I'm going to be talking about the most effective exercise, which is not allowed. Hi, my name is John Jaquish. I am a doctor of biomedical engineering, which gives me a unique perspective on all sorts of subjects. Today, I'm going to be talking about the most effective exercise, which is not allowed. So when I say most effective exercise, I'm talking about variable resistance. However, variable resistance in a standard gym is not allowed. Now it's not because they don't want you to have gains. It's for safety reasons. So like when you see, and, and there's videos out there like this with people hooking bands to standard fitness equipment and trying to add some variability. So like in a bicep curl, they have a lower resistance where they're weaker and they have a higher resistance when they get to the more contracted position. Uh, that way you can fatigue in diminishing range and get a much more powerful stimulus as you go to momentary muscular fatigue multiple times in a, in a set with a fresh muscle. That's, that's the best part about it. It saves you time, it's more efficient, a much more powerful stimulus, way lower chances of injury. But the problem is banding. Sometimes people don't know what they're doing when they hook a band on a bar, and especially if it's tensioned when they connect it, then they go to take it off, and all of a sudden the band goes flying across the room and hits somebody in the face. Now the gym has a problem from a liability standpoint. Now they can be sued. So you'll notice if you go to a gym and you start using bands and hooking it to the equipment, Here, here's another example. There's people who will hook a band around the edge of a, of a dumbbell rack, a, a sort of center standing dumbbell rack. They'll hook it on, let's say, one of the, one of the little arms that comes off the rack that normally you set the dumbbells or, or maybe the, the sort of pre-bolted together barbells. And they have these like, you know, cambered bars. You can, you can see people, they'll hook a band to one of, these, one of these hooks that you place the bar on and then they'll want to try and do like a tricep push down or something like that. But here's the problem. You train with so much more force with variable resistance that you're not fully aware of you could tip the entire rack over and this has happened and the rack could fall on the person doing the exercise or it could just fall and send dumbbells tumbling across the room and, and hit somebody. There's even an instance where somebody bought an exercise band and they threw it over a tree branch so their kid could have like a swing in the yard. Well, what happened is kids bouncing up and down on this band that's attached to a tree branch broke the tree branch off, branch comes down and hits the kid in the back of the neck, now the kid's paralyzed for life. So there's a good reason why gyms don't want you walking in and just throwing bands over whatever because you don't know what's gonna happen and a lot of times the whatever you're throwing the band over does not have the structural integrity or the balance to handle it. There is a way to get past this. When you bring your X3 into a gym, the X3 is self-contained. As in, you don't hook the bands to anything that's not part of X3. So the handle has hooks, the bar has hooks on the end of it, and then the plate that you stand on allows for the bands to move freely underneath so they can flex and, and they can move with a, a greater stretch or the discharge of the force. So. When you bring your X3 to a gym, now you can get the benefit of variable resistance in a gym. Of course, you could also do it outside or you could do it at home. You don't need to go to a gym, uh, which is why I don't go to a gym. I, I haven't worked out in a gym without my X3 in more than 10 years. Uh, I haven't really touched anything other than X3 in, in yeah, more than that. But these gyms that aren't allowing variable resistance, you just have to keep in mind, there's just no good way to do it without the custom made equipment that is intended on delivering this superior stimulus. 
So yeah, if you walk into a standard gym and, and ask where are all the bands, they'll tell you, yeah, we don't have those because they end up hurting people. But don't worry, if you wanna do this on your own and really wanna double down on gains and build muscle and strength as fast as possible, variable resistance is definitely your answer. If this video helped you, I want you to subscribe and follow. I'm gonna put out videos on a regular basis. I think they're gonna help a whole lot of people, especially if you're one of those people that doesn't just instantly grow from lifting regular weights. We've got the answer for you.